Hello, my name is Amanda, and you're about to watch Fun for Louis Daily Vlogs. Wow. It's 7.30 in the morning, and I'm jumping in the car with Steve and Lexi, and we're going to Amsterdam. Ready? Yeah! <laughs> We are horridly stuck in traffic. For how long? Like two and a half hours, and we've moved like a mile, pretty much. We're hungry, and we're gonna, and we've missed our ferry. Not cool, man. Merci. Thank you. Merci. Au revoir. Au revoir. So we just arrived at Dover. It's raining. I don't understand. It better not be raining in Amsterdam. That's all I'm saying. I think it's time for Burger King. Oh, thanks, Burger King. Large fries. Look at that. So I got like three hours sleep last night, so I'm having a little nap on the ferry. I brought my sleeping bag on, look. That's the way I roll. We're switching over, I'm going to sit at the front of the stage for a little bit. Oh! Didn't crack my phone then. <sighs> How's it going Steve? Yeah, good, feeling good man. I'm happy to be out of that standstill traffic in, in England. And we should we should be in Amsterdam in like, what, four hours? Yeah, I reckon a little bit sure, like three and, a, three and a bit. Three and a bit. Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> We're stuck in more traffic. This isn't this isn't cool. Stop for a little break in Belgium. I have no idea what language that woman was speaking to me in though. <laughs> no idea. She was telling me, she asked if I wanted a tash. I was like, a tash? And then she held up a bag. What language is that? Tash? We have arrived after a horrendously long drive, lots of traffic, but we're here. These roads are so smooth. A cheeky little cup of tea. Yeah, yeah, just say yeah. yeah. Um, the How are you feeling, Steve? Things, I think, right? Drive white. Out. This is my friend Steve as well, but you can call him Bondi. Yeah. And we're heading. There's too many Steves. We're heading into. Um, we're heading into somewhere to get some food because we are lacking in energy right now. So it turns out we I wasn't coming to Amsterdam, I was coming to like a town relatively near Amsterdam. Um, but it's just dead. There's n it's 10 pm, which is quite late, but like we haven't seen a single person. It's like every restaurant's closed, it's just dead. And we're so hungry. Finally found an open, open restaurant. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Oh yeah. Wait, what you got there, Steve? Gigantic Cornish pasty. Wait, that's a bad man. I literally just inhaled that pizza. Just like. Wait, read that. Did you inhale your pizza, Lexi? 
<laughs> Look guys, it's Dave. Do you remember him from Texas? Hello. <laughs> Dave actually organised this whole trip, so you can thank him. It's going to be an awesome couple of days. Apparently there's going to be maybe some horse riding. Theme park tomorrow. Um, I don't know, loads of crazy stuff. We're all heading to bed, but check, check this little cabin we got. This little cabin's got three bedrooms, and we're here for maybe the week. It's only 20 quid each for the week. That's amazing, isn't it? Before I go to sleep, I thought I'd answer a few questions for you guys. How long are you gonna stay in England? Well, I've already left England, so um, not long. I'm, I'm now in Holland, kind of near Amsterdam in some random village. Dave wants to join in. Um, here's a question for you, what was your first kiss like? <laughs> no, it was with Steve. <laughs> it was just now. Uh, it was great. Uh, that's what I wanted to tell you. Okay. Amazing. Oh, wow. Well. Uh, what's the best birthday present that someone can get you? I'm not a presents kind of guy. Like, in terms of material things, I'm not into gifts and material objects, really. I think spending time with someone is more valuable to me. What did I get in my GCSEs? I got three A stars, one A, five Bs and two Cs. Um, and my A levels were like an A, a B and a C, I think. The YouTubers in the US are mostly young teenagers. Is it difficult to assimilate yourself amongst them? Um, I don't know if that's quite true. I think a lot of my US YouTuber friends are more like in their early 20s. But um, especially those guys, I don't really feel older than them. I am older than them, but I feel probably at heart like younger and I'll, f I'll end with this question and it's kind of relevant because I'm currently in another country uh, what's the worst thing about traveling everywhere and I thought about this genuinely I don't I can't think of anything bad about traveling everywhere right now I'm loving it anyway I'll wrap up there I'm gonna get some sleep and looking forward to the next few days Holland adventure anyway peace out Enjoy life, live the adventure. Boom.